Test out maps, play with your friends on a server that you can roll up all for free. Hello everybody and welcome to OMG Craft. I'm your host, OMG Chad. For a long time, I've been showing off resources for you to make it easier for you to play with your friends. And servers, big servers like Mindplex or Hypixel have solved a lot of that, those problems. But every once in a while, there's something that is a little bit more dedicated for you to play with your friends, like say an adventure map, or maybe a mod pack, or maybe you wanna check out some vanilla features in your own server. Well, that can be a little bit more complicated to get you and your friend on the same machine. So, here is a temporary solution from a company that is hoping that you'll test out their services and then buy it later. Let me show it to you. So here we are on stickypiston.co on their main page. It talks a lot about the services that they offer and the prices that they offer. But for you, you're gonna to wanna to check out the free Minecraft trial. Go ahead and click that in under the order option and you are brought to this page and there's a lot going on. So let me run through what you're looking at. At the top, these are actually tabs. So you can switch between Minecraft maps, normal Minecraft and mod packs. The maps and mod packs can be filtered through. So if you wanna do say an adventure game, or if you or an adventure map to be to be frank or you can change your minecraft version so you could choose a 1.11 version and then you could even go in here and say it needs to be an adventure 1.11 map and there you go the forgotten book once you choose a map or find a mod pack that you like all you have to do is click start map now and as mentioned before, this is a temporary map. Right now it's offline because it's starting up. You get a little version of the server log. You can see that it's offline, that this is a mini game map, that this is the version of the map that we're running, the version of Minecraft that we're running. So if you were running a older version of Minecraft, you'd have to load that into your Minecraft launcher. How much memory is allocated, and there's three gigabytes, which is a good amount, and how much time is left on this trial server. All you have to do is click the IP, and it has now been copied into your clipboard. And you'll also have a few more options, which I'm gonna to get to once I have joined the server. So let's go ahead and edit a, our Minecraft server and paste this IP address in. Go ahead and click done and refresh. And what's cool is if I had chosen a different map, a different server icon would show up right there, which is kind of nice. So let's go ahead and join in. It will download, there's a big resource pack for this one if I've already downloaded this map, but if you hadn't, it would download it and you can see that we are in the game already. Let's switch back over to the website and you can see now I have been added to the players list. I could opt myself, de-opt myself, change my game mode. This would be perfect if you're just running a vanilla server and you want to opt a few people because you know that they're good. You can see the chat log and this is the instructions of the map that we are running. Once you're finished with the server, you can go ahead and click quit and it's going to let you know we're going to delete this server permanently. There's not going to be anything left. Go ahead and do that. Over in Minecraft, it has gone ahead and kicked me out of that server. So we can go back to our server list and you can see now we can choose a different map. If you wanted to do some type of mod pack, you could do that as well. All you have to do is click in, click start server. And it shows how many gigabytes is available on this one it would be four gigabytes for the Direwolf 20 map and three gigabytes for others. So it allocates the correct amount of memory that you need and it also gives you the amount of time. Now, if you are choosing one of these mods, you do need to have the correct mod installed with the correct launcher. So there's some nice things that you can choose the different launchers. So let's say you prefer the curse launcher. Now these are all of the mod packs that are in the curse launcher. And there's even a, how do I install a curse mod pack right here? So this will only create the server. You still need to figure things out client side.
Obviously, this is a way for you to check out their service after you have done a temporary map or a temporary server. So you got to keep in mind that anything that you're running this on is not going to stick around and they don't have options at the moment for a trial for you to say download the map that you've worked on and that sort of stuff. But for something that is super quick, if you wanna play a map with your friends and you know that it's very difficult for you to run your own server and it's only gonna be temporary, this is a great resource for you to have. This is an awesome service provided by the guys over at Sticky Piston. Uh, and I can see a lot of people testing it out to do mod packs and single player and multiplayer, obviously, uh, and just checking it out. It's quite nice. Of course, links in the description to find out more information. Thanks so much for watching this episode of OMG Craft. If you enjoyed it, give this video a good old big old like. Make sure you subscribe for future content, and I'll see you next time on OMG Craft. Bye.